Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and today I have a pretty fitting video for, oh my god, what an awful camera angle, for the sort of state that the world is in right now. I am showing you guys pajamas, but pajamas that you can turn into like everyday outfits, or bar outfits, or like work outfits, um, and how to like go from being lazy and like maybe this will be perfect for that transition period from when you have to go from wearing up your pajamas like I know I've worn the same pajamas every single day and I've been in quarantine for like two weeks now so it's the looks that will be taking you out of quarantine and back into your everyday life or you can wear them when you're in quarantine and feel cute uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video so the first thing I'm gonna show you is my baggy t-shirt which by the way yeah it says University of Oxford on it and it was literally the only time in my life that someone will ever assume that I actually went to the University of Oxford was when I was in Oxford and bought this from like the student store and the cashier asked to see my student card and literally the only time someone will think I'm smart enough to go to Oxford University so that's why I love this shirt. It's also super cute. I got it in like a huge size because that's what sleep shirts need to be. So I'm gonna show you how to take this frumpy sleep shirt into something cute. <laughs> oh, I'll walk off. So all I did was tuck my sleep shirt into a satin skirt and already it looks like such a different outfit but another tip I'm gonna give you to make your pajama shirt look like a shirt that should be worn out of the house is by rolling the sleeves a little bit it kind of creates this a bit more put together look instead of like just wearing a slushy t-shirt so yeah actually made a TikTok of this exact outfit a while ago so I like it because the bronzy gold from the Oxford emblem pulls into the skirt underneath so yeah that is the first outfit for you guys, um, I would wear this just like an everyday setting, um, like in the groceries or anything like that. I think this is something that could be like dressed up even more or dressed down even more. It could look really cool with a like leather jacket or something. Yeah. I guess I can back up and show you guys the entire look. The skirt I got from Shine a bit ago and obviously the shirt I got from the University of Oxford a little bit ago. So on to the next one. So here is the next look pre, well I guess during sleep. Oh my god, what do I even call it? Here's the next look. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> what I'm talking about here is not these super comfy pants that made my butt look good that I got at Primark. It is this like silk nighty that I got at Primark ages ago. Um, and it is something you see so common. It's such a big trend right now to see people wearing a like satin silk pajama top with something else. So here is my interpretation of it. I've had this one for a little bit. I feel like it was like a lot more pink when I last tried it on, but it still works for this. <laughs> so this way. And then this is the half of the outfit that I have paired it with. It is literally just tucking it into some mom jeans. I threw on a sparkly necklace so that it looked a little bit more casual and then I'm gonna throw on top of it my favorite blazer that I own. You guys have totally seen this before. It is my Nasty Gal blazer I got not that long ago. Actually, I think it's still for sale right now too. Uh, I could probably use a belt. I feel like everything that I've shown in this video has required normal pajamas and then just like adding a belt to it. <laughs> I think the trick of turning pajamas into everyday wear is to not have more than one piece of like silk or like pajama e material or pajama article of clothing and then pairing it with like two normal more structured articles of clothing. So yeah, that is why I have this little outfit. It's funny, I even bought myself a camisole the other day and I bought it from like H&M's normal section, like not pajama section, and I was thinking that it was literally just the same exact thing as like a pajama night county sort of top, just labeled differently. Like these are, you know, nobody needs to make them 100% pajamas. They're like ambiguous. They could be whatever they want to be. The next one I have to show you guys is actually going to be featured in my H&M haul coming up. So I will link this one down below because obviously it's still available. I literally just got it. It is this 
kind of short little satin nightgown. It's got pretty bell sleeves with it. It kind of feels pretty vintage actually. I've been doing little photo shoots on my Instagram where I do like throwback. Like I did a 60s photo shoot, I did a 70s photo shoot. After I filmed this video, I might do one in this that's a bit more like Audrey Hepburn 60s-ish now that I'm playing around in it. Oh, I haven't got to wear this yet just because we're in quarantine so getting dressed up and wearing stuff out isn't really something that's happened yet and I did actually buy this for the purpose to wear it out and not to wear it even though it's really cute as pajamas that's not the purpose I bought it for I bought it more for like what I will show you so I will show you <laughs> so this is what I bought it for and this isn't even the full outfit because it's not just the fact that I added a belt which by the way could totally be it is just adding a belt to like a satin nightgown but I paired it oh can you even see Guys, I paired it with these like thigh-high boots and it's actually so cute that this could be like a bar look. Not that I really go to the bar anyways, but like the way that this boot and the satin nightgown goes, I feel like it's such a look. I'm super impressed with it. I'm gonna stare at myself in the mirror for like five seconds. Yeah, seriously, even like getting drinks with friends or something, I think this outfit would just be perfect. It's like very so comfy i mean it's literally pajamas and guys i made this video because we are in quarantine right now so you can wear it as just the pajamas that's the best part about it or you can literally throw a belt on it and then you'll feel super cute in quarantine but i have been wearing the same pair of pants and shirt this entire time so i'm lying to you if i'm telling you that you should be wearing this in quarantine because you can look disgusting, no one will see. Yeah, I think that the wrinkles need to be washed out, but honestly, after like one wash, I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm really loving these sleeves too. I feel very Fleetwood Mackie right now. And even if I change the belt to like a different color, so it's a bit more like neutrals on neutrals, I'm like, have like a white little booty with it. I think, I think this is a very versatile piece for just being a satin nightgown. <sighs> On to the next one. I don't know why I keep walking up like this. This next one I have for you is one I think a lot of people will already have in their closet and so you can totally do what I am about to do with this. My dad just poured me some green tea. Yeah, it is literally just this black satin nightgown. Mine's like, I think it's originally from Lizenza. I think Victoria's Secret does one. I think any like pajama store or lingerie store or anything in between sells a black nightgown. So this one is actually probably one of my favorite other videos, but it's also one that's like super accessible for a lot of people just because it's something a lot of people use in their everyday routine anyways. You get out of the shower, you throw this on until you do all your makeup, and then you, you know, start your day. So yeah, let me, let me show you what I'm gonna do with this. And this is the outfit I have for my satin kimono. Uh, let me back up again because I do have my thigh-high boots again on with this outfit because I think there's something super cute about having thigh-high boots with a shorter dress dress um, and then having a little piece of like skin showing in between that's such a look for me. I just paired a corset underneath this so um, and if I actually wore this out I would wear shorts underneath it too just in case because it was not meant to be a dress but it is a pretty good length now that I like see it together it's actually not super short um so yeah i put a little black corset i think it'd be really cute if you have it like just peeking out a little bit let's do that just like off the shoulder kind of look um you can even roll the sleeves if you want don't know how well they will stay up because they're like balloon sleeves but yeah this is way more of a bar outfit or like a getting drinks at night outfit at like a little little institution this is definitely not a everyday look because it is so dark and sensual that like i don't know there's something about all black but you mix it with like satin and then like a fitted corset it's a little naughty isn't it that's why i wanted to show it for the video because i feel like it can be such a like daring look and it is literally something that the majority of girls have and it's a black little kimono actually i did my university's fashion show a few years ago and you had to bring just like a cover-up like a robe just to you know quickly change outfits and every girl i think there uh had a black kimono so this one isn't even mine i picked up someone else's 
someone picked up mine, we just never exchanged them. It's, I mean, it's just a black kimono. They all kind of look the same anyways. You guys are wondering where this corset is from. It's actually from Fashion Nova. I would not recommend it though, because it's a bodysuit that like just does not fit me whatsoever. The, like I have it unbuttoned now. The waist on this is so small that it's just not worth wearing. So I just don't, I just like leave it undone. So yeah, that's this fun little outfit. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, guys, this next one is falling off me right now. I got the other day thrift shopping and it was like stupidly cheap. And um, let me back up. I actually used it for my other 60s photo shoot I did where I looked super Lana Del Rey. And a lot of people asked me where this dress was from. And it was literally like $2 at the thrift store. And it's this isn't even like a oh my god, I can't believe she found that at the thrift shop. Like, every thrift store has an old white nighty that someone got rid of ages ago. This one falls about midi length on me, and yeah, it's yet another thing I bought that would traditionally be pajamas, but I totally bought for a, you know, not for that purpose whatsoever. Will I wear it as pajamas in the future? Maybe, but I, I'm genuinely not planning on it. So let me, let me show you what this dress can become. So I wanted to show you guys before I put my jacket on just how much putting a belt really changed this entire look. Like it seriously, like it cinched in the waist and the belt itself made it look so much more like, I don't want to say business. No one would wear, this, would wear this business wise, but it does make it look so much more like chic, like you could genuinely wear it out of the house. But on top of that, I'm going to throw a jacket on. I just grabbed a jean jacket just because following my earlier rule saying that if you're gonna wear a pajama thing out, wear a more structured piece with it, I feel like jean is like the most outdoor you could get. And so <laughs> just gonna roll up the sleeves. Also guys, what are you watching right now? Like what are you binging on Netflix? Cause I know everyone's binging something on Netflix right now because we're all in quarantine. And right now I'm watching Love is Blind. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know how much I was not prepared to absolutely hate one of the people on love is blind like with an actual passion like she's in a scene right now i have it paused because i was like listening to it as i was changing and yeah like i just i've never hated someone that i've never met before so much than this person on this tv show so if you guys know who it is because i don't want to ruin it for people let me know if you hit her too because i bet you will know exactly who i'm talking about <laughs> so i'll show you guys this outfit uh, let me look in the mirror so yeah, this is the last outfit I have. Actually, I feel like this dress could be paired with a sweater too. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, I will totally try that. But first, this is what I have. Um, Seriously, I love the satin nightgown so much. There's something about white satin that looks like bridal, but like in a like really chic, beautiful way. I don't know. I'm really happy with it. It's probably one of my favorite things I own right now. I've seen it hanging in my closet and I just like stare at it really happy knowing that I bought that for like $2. So I'm gonna throw a sweater on just to show you guys a different side of what you could do with another satin nighty. And this is it with the sweater on. Guys, it's so cute. I genuinely feel like I could, like I just classed it up so much. I could wear this satin nighty to work. Like doesn't this look a bit more like classy and professional. I wish you guys could see a full length thing. I'm gonna have to get myself a little stool just for my fashion videos. I'm really in love with this. I don't, do I like this belt color or would a black belt look better? I don't know. But either way, I just feel like putting a little sweater on and having it as the skirt as the main feature is super cute. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you liked this. Let me know if it was like, time appropriate or anything like that um literally guys all i've been doing is reading so you might see a bit more book videos in the future just a few like sprinkled here and there because obviously i was a book channel before i was a fashion channel and like i still read a copious amounts of book like i still have my 50 book a year bookmark which isn't a lot to some people but it's a lot for me um so yeah if you guys want to see those let me know like this video if you like this video and subscribe if you feel like subscribing and I will see you guys next week. Bye.